Hi everybody, welcome back to Richard in the Kitchen tonight. Tonight I'm going to be making up some Dr. Pepper beef and pork chili. Homemade, it's so delicious. And I'm going to be making up some uh, waffles that's made out of cornbread. So let's get started. First I'm going to put my ground chuck in the skillet. I'm using 80-20. We'll just break that up. I've got this on about medium high heat. Break it up. I'm also going to be adding about a pound of pork. You can use ground pork. You can use sausage links. This is actually ground uh, little sausage links that I'm using. And you break this up and we'll brown this. When it's about halfway through, We'll add our onions. Once your ground beef and pork is about halfway cooked, browned, add about a half of a Vidalia yellow onion. We'll give it a little salt. It'll help those onions sweat and soften up a little bit. And then we'll continue to cook this until it's completely brown and we'll start adding our seasonings. Ground beef and pork is brown. I've strained it and got all the grease out of it. And we're going to add this to a Dutch oven. I've drained the juice out of one can of Rotel chilies. We'll use a small can of tomato paste. You ever do a tomato paste can and you know you're digging down in there? trying to get it out. Well, let me show you a little trick. You cut off both ends and you just then just grab that top end and just push this through and it all comes out. You don't have to go digging around in that. Ha! Huh, cute trick, huh? All right. We'll add one cup of beef broth and give this a good mix. And we'll start adding our seasonings in just a second. Alright, now what we've got as far as seasonings. I've got one tablespoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of oregano, one, about an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, about one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of ground black pepper. Now, what makes, I think, my chili different is the cinnamon and the other ingredient that I'm going to tell you about in just a minute. So you just throw those seasonings in there and give this a mix. Man, it smells so good. I love chili. This is pretty much a basic chili recipe. But like I said, I've always made my chili with just a dash of cinnamon. It gives that just, man, I tell you what, it makes it so different. That smells so good. Okay. The second ingredient that I think that makes this chili different is Dr. Pepper. Regular Dr. Pepper, not that diet stuff. Put enough in there just to cover your chili. And of course you drink the rest. Give that a good stir. <laughs> oh my God. Now, what that Dr. Pepper does is it seems to balance out all of the spices that you put in here. Sometimes you can put spices in here and you can taste one spice over another, but that sweetness in this Dr. Pepper and the acidity, it just balances that out. So, now what we'll do is we'll bring this to a boil, and we'll turn the heat down, we'll let it simmer for about one hour, and then we'll start on our cornbread, guys. As far as our cornbread, I've got one cup of flour, one cup of cornmeal, Four teaspoons of bacon powder, one teaspoon of salt. I've also got some milk and an egg mixture here, and we'll mix all these ingredients together. Give our egg a little milk and some whip, and we'll pour that into the flour, corn meal and bacon powder mixture. You may have to add a little bit of milk as you go. 
Now, the important thing here is don't over beat this. Otherwise, your cornbread waffles will not come out <coughs> in the consistency that you want. So we'll mix this up. Our chili is almost done. We'll get our waffle iron ready and we'll start making our cornbread waffles. Man, <laughs> I tell you what, this is something else. All right, that's about what you're looking for right there. So let's get our waffle iron ready and we'll start making our waffles. All right, our green light on our waffle iron is telling us it's ready. We want to put about a cup of cornbread mixture in there and close it up. It only takes about three to five minutes to cook our waffles, so we'll give that time. We'll take our chili off the stove that's been simmering for an hour, and we'll assemble our Belgian waffles. Depending on your type of waffle iron, usually they are done when there's no steam that is escaping from the sides. So you just take some, a plastic fork or some skewers and just kind of build it out like that. And we'll transfer that to the plate. How about that? All right, let's start adding our chili and our fixings. And we'll eat. Once your waffles are done, take your chili and just spread it on top of your cornbread waffle. Man, it smells so good. Look at that, guys. How about that for a different idea? I can't wait to bite into this. And then we'll top it with some cheddar cheese. And some maters. And some jalapeno. How about that, guys? Look at that. All right. Easy to do. Let's give it a taste test and see how we did. <laughs> Check this thing out. My God. Dr. Pepper beef and pork homemade chili and some cornbread waffles. Man, I tell you what. How about that? Let's give this a taste test. Man, I tell you, this chili, the way I do the chili with the cinnamon and the, the Dr. Pepper, it really gives it a great flavor. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Mmm. Goodness gracious sakes. I've outdone myself this time. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I gotta have another bite. I can't wait. This is really good. Hey, thanks, Dana, for giving me this idea. I really do appreciate it. Guys, give this a try. It is absolutely fabulous. So until next time, I'll see you later. And don't forget to be nice to everybody. Bye, guys.